Hey everyone, I'm Jamie from jamiedelainewatson.com. Thanks for being here. We're going to be chatting today about client gifts for your photography business, why you should be giving gifts, what you should be giving, how you should be giving them, when you should be giving them. We're going to be chatting about all the details right in this video, so keep watching. So first up, why should we give gifts? Well, nobody raves about a business that did exactly what was promised. They might say, yeah, she did a good job, but they're not going to rave about you. We always have to under-promise and over-deliver, and gifts are a way that I do that in my business. So throughout the planning process, I provide my clients with two different gifts, some years three, <laughs> hopefully none of my clients are watching this video, <laughs> that are out of the blue and a surprise to my clients. And it reminds them um, they made a great choice in hiring me, it gives them greater confidence in their decision to hire me, and it also puts me in the top of their mind. So maybe that's the week that they're talking to somebody at work. They got engaged and we all have busy weeks and busy lives, but instead they're thinking, oh, I just got the nicest card for my wedding photographer. You need to hire her. So you never know what your investment in gifts will bring to your business. So in my business, after a client books, I send them a little welcome package. I include my personalized client magazine that leads them through the process of the engagement session to the wedding day and albums and after the wedding. I also include two of me and my husband's favorite marriage and relationship books. And I just think this is a nice way to start off their engagement planning process, thinking about not only um, the wedding, but also the marriage that follows. So it's a nice little welcome gift. I package it up nice and pretty and that's dropped in their mailbox um, about a week or two after they sign the contract. And so I love, love, love this part of the gift planning process. And I think it's honestly the most important because they have just sent you maybe a couple thousand dollars as a retainer fee, potentially before even meeting you as their photographer. And so right away, even if they had any doubt, um, you're setting that at ease and you're reminding them, hey, I think you made the right choice. I think another great time to give your clients some gifts are halfway through the planning process of working with you. My average booking is maybe about nine to 10 months before the wedding day. So that's quite a few months from booking to wedding day. I might see them of course in there for their engagement session, but that could be two months after booking or two months before the wedding. So there'll still be this amount of time of about six months that there's really no reason for us to interact much. And, but I don't want that to be the story of their experience with me. So by kind of plopping a gift, plopping is such an unsophisticated word, by putting a gift right in the middle of that um, planning stretch, it's reminding them again of me. It's just saying, hey, um, I hope wedding planning is going great. I hope you're finding time to relax and things aren't stressing you out too much. So for this gift, I give two personalized mugs if I can find them. Sometimes anthropology is out of the letters I need and it's not very fun. So then I just give them two pretty mugs and also a candle from a local company. And I package it up nice and pretty. And again, it goes in the mailbox. So currently in my business, I budget about three to 5% of the total wedding package in client gifts. So say you are booking uh, $2,000 weddings, 5% um, of that would be $100 in client gifts. I think I'm doing that math right. And so it may sound like a lot to you, especially if you're not naturally maybe a gift giver. But what's so amazing about this is we are marketing essentially by giving these gifts and upping the client experience to a very specific kind of person who is engaged, getting married, already hired us, and she is the best source of referrals for us in the future. I'm not kidding when I say that I have couples who were referred to me by their friend who got married seven, eight, nine years ago. The referrals never truly stop until their entire friend circle and their friends' kids' circles stop getting married. So it's an extremely long-term investment and one of the best investments on your money you could possibly do. Even if you spent $100 a client, say you shoot 20 weddings a year, so that's $2,000 you're spending on client gifts, not only are, um, what am I trying to say? It's, it's impossible to lose because even if those gifts bring you zero referrals, you've still wasted your money by um, giving amazing gifts to these clients that you love. So much better than just spending $2,000 on ads and wondering if it's gonna work. 
But I promise you, it won't be a waste because not only will you be able to give amazing gifts to your clients, it will bring at least one wedding your way and then you've paid for the client gifts that way. So that's why I'm so passionate about these. So if you're wondering where to start when it comes to client gifts, I have a download for you at jamiedelainewatson.com slash client gifts. There'll be a list of ideas that you could give your clients, where to purchase some of them, and also my list of favorite packaging companies, which I know can be a whole nother confusing thing. Once you have the gift, how do you package it pretty? So I have a few resources there for you, and the link is also in the description below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I love hearing from you. Thank you again. Have a good week.